Cavalry FC fans, I'm David Norman. I'm from Vancouver, BC, and uh, I'm a center back for Cavalry. We're really looking forward to playing in front of you again this year. We can't wait to get uh, fans back back in stadiums, and uh, we hope to be having you cheer us on some some wins and uh, coming up in 2021. grew up in a soccer family. Both my dad played and my grandpa was a coach. So I uh, was kicking the ball around very at a very young age. Started playing soccer in Coquitlam with Metro Ford when I was age four. From there, I joined the Whitecaps youth setup at uh, age nine. I played a couple of years with the first team with Vancouver before being traded to Inter Miami. And now uh, it's brought me here uh, to sign most recently with Calgary. You know, when I really realized that I could make this a profession, make this a career, I was probably about 14. I do remember one one dinner actually with my parents. I was um, in the summer, I was training with a team in, in Germany called Mainz, sitting down with them. And, uh, you know, after playing with some of the top German players my age and, you know, feeling like I fit in and, and, and was right there, I remember saying to them, like, there's players a couple years older than me that are signing professional contracts and doing this. and. Um, you know, this is really something that I want to make happen. Growing up in, in the Whitecap system, I was lucky to be coached by the likes of Bart Chauffeur, then Rich Fagan, countless others that really, really helped me. Obviously, having my dad, who also went through it, I was able to gain some insight from him in terms of, you know, what it takes to become a professional soccer player. I get this question a lot. A lot of people think it was, you know, did you practice with with your with your dad? What did he tell you to do? But a big thing of it was just him instilling this love for the game inside of me, being able to tell me stories of when he played, uh, taking me back to Scotland where he's from, and watching a Rangers Celtic game, uh, Rangers Barcelona when I was only seven and a half years old. So being able to experience those things as a young kid really helped breed my love for the game. I've known Tommy since I was 16 and had some uh, some experience playing for him with the youth national teams. Played against him, uh, some of his Foothills teams, of course, against Cavalry back in 2019. Um, so we've kept in touch, we've been in contact, and um, you know, when he showed some interest, when I showed some interest in coming to Calgary, it was really okay. How am I going to fit in this team? Um, playing wise, how am I going to fit in this team as, as a culture, what he's trying to build and um, everything just seemed to fit. Also, Martin Nash as well. I, he was my coach back in, in the Whitecaps youth setup and you know, I grew up going to Swan Guard and watching him play. I'm really just looking forward to getting, you know, training every day again, playing every weekend. Um, getting into a, a league that's growing like the CPL and uh, just showcasing myself again, but also just finding that love for the game and being able to do what I love every single week. I'm really looking forward to that. Being able to play again, to be honest, it was, you know, I think 17 or 18 months since I played and coming on in the first game of the tournament um, and then playing every minute since, you know, every minute after that was, was great. So to play competitive game like that every three days was, I felt like a, a little kid again at times. Right now I'm looking at a lot of short-term goals for this year. Uh, I think the first thing that comes to my mind is to win. Coming to the most successful team over the last three years um, in the league has been fantastic in Calgary. You know, winning all three mini seasons, if if you want to say. Um, and now, you know, the next step is is, is to do that in uh, something that they can show from it and take home a trophy. To value service over yourself. So being able to, to give back and to help others, you're always going to find more fulfillment in that rather than serving yourself.